Today we have an interesting problem, which is kind of a combination of algebra, geometry, and calculus. So let's get started. First of all, we have a coordinate system here, vertical axis, horizontal axis. We have a parabola here, y equals x squared, and we have a circle. And the circle is tangent to the parabola at point A, and tangent to the horizontal axis at point B. And we asked to find this green area between parabola, circle, and horizontal axis. The way we're going to solve this problem is, first of all, connecting points O, A, and B. And we're going to find the area of the triangle O, A, B. From that area, we're going to subtract the yellow area and the red area. And that's how we're going to find the green area. So first of all, let's find the area of the triangle OAB. The area of the triangle OAB is half times height times base. The height is the vertical distance from point A to the horizontal axis, which corresponds to the vertical coordinate of point A. The base is the segment OB which we don't know yet. That's what we want to try to find. And to do that, we need to remember that we have these points A and B, which are points of tangency of a circle with the parabola and horizontal axis. Point A is the point where the parabola and the circle are tangent to each other. What it means is that there is a line, AC, which is tangent to both a circle and a parabola. And what we would like to know is the angle between this line AC and horizontal axis. Tangent of this angle is the slope of the line AC. And we can find the slope of the line AC if you find the derivative of either the parabola or the circle at x equals to 1 half. Obviously, it is easier to find derivative of a parabola. Derivative of the parabola x squared is 2x, and when x equals to 1 half, it equals to 1. So the tangent of this angle ACB is equals to 1, and that means that this angle is 45 degrees. If we connect points a and B with the center of a circle point D, we find that the angle between BD and horizontal axis should be 90 degrees, and angle between the line AC and line AD should be also 90 degrees. And that's because we're talking about angles between a tangent line to a circle and the radius of a circle. Now what we're going to do, we're going to draw a horizontal line AE and a vertical line ED. We find that triangle AED is a right triangle. And this angle right here, angle EAD, is 45 degrees. The reason why this angle is 45 degrees is because if you look at this angle right here, ACB, and this angle right here, angle CAE, those two angles together should give us 180 degrees, and that's because those two angles are what's called same side interior angles for parallel lines AE and CB. And that makes this angle 45 degrees. But that also means that this angle right here is also 45 degrees. And that means the triangle AED is 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. It's a right triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. And if you denote the radius of a circle as R, and in this case AD and BD are going to be equal to R, you find that AD is the hypotenuse of this triangle. And that means that the other legs, AE and AD, should be equal to R over square root of 2 by Pythagorean theorem. 
Vertical coordinate of point E is the same as vertical coordinate of point A, it's one quarter. But on the other hand, it equals to the distance EB, which is equal to R over square root of 2 plus R. And that gives us an equation for R, which we can solve and find R. The distance OB equals to horizontal coordinate of point B, which is the same as horizontal coordinate of point E. But horizontal coordinate of point E is horizontal coordinate of point A, which is one half, plus this distance AE. And by adding half an A, we get the OB. And now we're ready to calculate the area of the triangle OAB, which is simply equals to this value. Next step is to calculate this yellow area. This yellow area could be calculated as the area of the sector ADB, or sector, minus the area of the triangle ADB. To calculate the area of the sector, we need to know this angle D, ADB. Let's look at the quadrilateral CADB. Sum of all angles in quadrilateral is 360 degrees. And we know that this angle is 45 degrees, these two angles are 90 degrees each, and that means that the angle we're interested in is 135 degrees. And to calculate the area of this sector, we take the area of whole circle and multiply by 135 divided by 360, which is the fraction of whole circle that angle of 135 degrees occupies. Angle of 135 degrees occupies 3 eighths of full circle and therefore area of the sector is 3 eighths times the area of the circle. Now we want to calculate the area of triangle ADB it equals to the side AD, side DB, times the sine of the angle between them and times one half. We know that AD and BD are radii. The only thing we need to calculate is sine of 135 degrees. Notice that 135 degrees is 180 minus 45. And also there is a very useful formula that sine of 180 minus something is equals to sine of that something. In our case, something is 45 degrees and sine of 45 degrees is 1 over square root of 2. Now if you plug this thing into this formula, we find the area of the triangle ADB. And now we're ready to find the yellow area as the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle ADB. The last thing we want to do is to find the red area right here. To find this area, first of all, let's introduce triangle OAF. It's a right triangle. AF is a vertical line. What are we going to do? We're going to calculate the area of this triangle OAF and subtract this blue area, the area under the parabola. Area of this triangle OAF can be easily calculated. The blue area is also calculated in the standard way. This is the area on the curve, and it's calculated by taking a definite integral from our function x squared from x equals to 0 to x equal to 1 half, and that gives us the value of 1 over 24. So now we're ready to calculate the red area, which gives us the value of 1 over 48. And now we're almost done. We said that we want to calculate the green area as the area of the triangle OAB minus yellow area and minus red area. Plug everything in and we find the green area. Now here our square is this r squared. That 
can be calculated this way. Now the only thing you have to do now is to plug this way over here, maybe simplify a little bit, but I'm going to leave it for you.